Hello everybody, how's it going? I'm the Unpause here. Welcome back to South Africa. Last time we took out the Czech Republic and most of continental Europe. This time, I'm actually going to backtrack. I take uh, Wales and Scotland just so we don't have to go back there and take them and then we're going to advance and take over Moldova. We're going to take over Ukraine, uh, Lithuania, uh, Estonia, probably St. Petersburg and Finland and then wrap around and uh, take out Sweden and Norway. Uh, I don't know, that bridge is intact. Maybe we'll take them from that way, I don't know. We'll probably do a two-prong uh, attack, because I know most of their troops are going to head to that one, so we'll send up, a, at the very least, a defense there. But yeah, then we'll own almost all of continental Europe besides Kosovo and what pieces of Moscow are in continental Europe, which is not a lot. And then we can kind of focus on uh, moving into the Middle East, taking over the Middle East, uh, and uh, and such, because that will be all kinds of fun. Taking over the Middle East, uh, I hate the Middle East. <laughs> There's like no supply for like parts of it, and it's just it's such a pain when you get into Pakistan, and then you have to take over India, and it's just like oh my god, kill me. But we'll uh, we'll get her done. Don't worry. No worries at all. I'm surprised Moscow still has troops. It's crazy. I love how Volgograd though just has this large area here and there's some... Somehow it hasn't been taken back by the supply. Um, even though there's nearly nothing in it to supply, I don't really understand how that's... How that even works, but... Whatever. I guess there's enough there. I don't know. Oh no, there it goes. Okay. Never mind. <laughs> I was like, dang, Volgograd's like cleaning house, but apparently they're not cleaning house as much as I thought they were. That's okay. That's fine. Um, I really don't need those units over there, so we can just send them preemptively to... Um, who am I going to take over first? That's the question. I guess we'll go after Ukraine first. Because that will give us more easy... Um, actually... Fuck. Um, I'll go after Moldova first, actually. Who wants that? It's not me. Estonia. Okay, figures. There's so much random land grabs. Northern Caucasus owns all that. St. Petersburg owns random lands there. and It's just such a mess. We're going to clean it up, though. We are going to definitely clean that up. Um, is there enough units there, really? 2,000 units are there. Yeah, it's a, I'd say that's enough. Let's declare war on Wales. Now, war with the Welsh. Which is, you know, cool and stuff. They do have a few units. So, you know, that could be an issue. Let's just point everything at the capital. Now, I did try to mobilize, and they're just really starting to flood in here now, to this bridge that I built, because it's going to um, be enough, and I want to be able to declare war on them and kind of do this damage. I don't, I don't think I'm going to take them over, but um, I think I'll need that other bridge part to be able to get over there, but, you know, just wanted enough to really do something. I guess I'll keep him here. But yeah, just sending up a whole shit ton of units that are very slowly making their way there. Once this long line gets there, I'll declare war. I think that'll be enough, really, to defend. Probably enough now, to be honest. 264. Yeah. Declare war. At war with Equatorial Guinea. I send units there. What'll happen? They'll try. They'll try to turn around. Well, let's entrench here anyway. Because so I at least want to be able to try and build that bridge. Took their road. There we go. So now that bridge is in. Do they have money if they take it back? Yeah, they have money, so they will build it. We'll double check to make sure it is getting built, though, after. 
but we'll leave those guys there in trench because it will take 80 days for them to figure it out. Ah, oh, we took Cardiff. So, just waiting for the Welsh to surrender fully. And then we'll go after the... Go after the Scottish. Really, those are all like... Activate. Activate. Five thousand per. It's crazy. Crazy the amount of units. We definitely want to activate all the naval and air, definitely. They're very important. I'm surprised we didn't. I wonder why. Oh, because we literally don't have enough. Wow. Shit ton of active staff, but like nothing reserve. That's insane. That's just because what we do. We're so warmongery. Like. So laggy. Like, holy shit. There's so many units there. It's just crazy. 89 days. Really, it's 90? I thought it was 80 days to build bridges. I could have swore it was that. We'll check in a few days and see if it's updating uh, efficiently. It's the only damn thing they're building, so really it should, <laughs> should not take that much, honestly. And declare war on Scotland. so slow like I'm clocking in at 9 FPS this, this game runs slower with a whole bunch of stuff going on than any other game that I own I run Crisis 3 faster The Witcher 3 run that faster everything it's all all runs better than Supreme Ruler just because there's so much going on it's cr just can't handle it oh it took there oil. That's probably a bad thing, so I'll probably go in debt now. And then we'll be able to build the stupid bridge. Uh, no, the treasury's pretty stable. Their debt's really low. Why don't they just pay off the debt? Don't understand that at all. I mean, whatever. It's up to them, I suppose, but... Could just try an all-out massive naval strike. But, that would just... I don't know. That would cost me a lot of money, and I just I can't be bothered. I think that's the last African nation that's not an ally, though. Uh, yeah. Besides Madagascar, it is. It's funny, because I don't even have that many allies. What's going on in the States, actually? Wow, Texas is getting its ass kicked by fucking Colorado, of all people. And in part, Missouri. Missouri is more just taking in with the entire South. Alabama's actually... Where the fuck is Alabama's capital? Oh, wow. Never mind, they're getting their butts fucked too. Kentucky could just wipe them. If they really wanted. But they're not, for some reason. South Carolina and Kentucky are allies, which is weird. So basically nothing's going on at all in the states right now. Just everybody's just at a fucking standstill. Well, that's boring. You guys are boring. The States is boring. Fucking crazy America. Uh, so the only exciting fight, I guess, uh, the liveliest, is Pakistan versus um, India. And I guess to some degree, Manchuria and the uh, South Koreans uh, have quite the interesting conflict going on, but the Koreans are dumb. They just can't do it. I don't know. They're not doing a very good job. How are we doing up here? Good, we're invading quite successfully. Let's just take that capital out. I'm just tired of it existing. Take them out there. Because we can get off the damn island. Go where we need to go. 
on the mainland. I only take a second to take that over right away. Oh, some shooting going on at uh, the abandoned city of Riga. Once a city of like what, six hundred thousand, and the village of Riga at one thirteen. It's pretty crazy. Pretty crazy what's going on. Ah, oh, there we go. We took that capital. We really can just pull out of there now. Really, really and surely. Yeah. We won, hooray. Get the fuck out of there. <gasps> Create another lag storm. It's the only thing with this game. I, just, I wish it ran better. Maybe better. Better off that way. Oh, good. They are building the bridge. Nice. And their economy is going down, but slowly, so hopefully they'll be able to keep up long enough to build the bridge. I'm just going to take that over. And there we go. Took that over. I feel like I'm going to sneeze. Let's just get that ship there. See if it'll bomb stuff. Like that ship's bombing stuff. Let's see if this ship will bomb stuff too. Can you just sit there and bomb stuff? Yeah, there you go. Just sit there and bomb stuff. You don't need to do anything fancy. You just sit there and bomb shit. My troops are coming off the main island now. Off of Britain. Takes them for goddamn ever to get across the bridge. And we watch half of them get stuck, probably. I, mean, I could probably just declare war on Moldova right now, really. Just invade them with what I've got going on here. Inverted. Harshly inverted. There's so many units and stuff just coming. Just like, we're going to invade. It's like, okay, you do that. Though the Ukraine one will be interesting. I have a few ships in there. They'll all get destroyed, I imagine. Send a bunch of transport ships in here, too. Uh, we'll put them... Right... There. No, it's Georgia Republic. Yeah, my big army's coming here now. They figured out what's going on. They're just kind of fighting there at that this point. It's 
pretty heavy fighting going on. A lot of abandoned villages too. Like no military at them at all. This will give me ample strike at the south side of Kiev, so I can take out a lot of that uh, artillery equipment from here and there, which is the main goal, to be totally honest. And then, after that, I'll, I'll just be able to strike Lithuania. I have a good strike on Northern Caucasus. I may hit them right away, I don't know. And I'll have a good strike on Volgograd as well. Uh, Moscow's going to take a shit ton of that land, though. That's the only problem with that. As I know, Moscow is going to take a lot of land, and that sucks. It's the reality of the situation, but it sucks. some juice. It's a very dry day today. I need to be hydrated. It's 27 degrees and most people will be like, holy shit, that's not that warm. Uh, I live in Canada. <laughs> it's May. Um, this part of the country it is 27 degrees, the other part it's like 11. It's very, very, very warm for this time of year. Like incredibly um, warm, like too warm. It should be like 16, 17 this time of year here. Not, uh, not like 20 degrees. That's insane. It's ridiculous. It's way too high. Redonkulous. But, it's the reality of it all. I guess I have to deal with it. it sucks for sleeping. I, I don't want to sleep well in the heat. I, I have to have, uh, colder room temperature at night. I don't know why. Just, I just have to. I think it's just because... Well, I mean, there's studies that show that you sleep better uh, in uh, a cooler atmosphere and environment than you do in a warm one. It's just science, but... You know, some people will claim the opposite, and that's fine. Whatever. Whatever makes you... Whatever's the most comfortable for you sleeping. You know, you do you, buddy. It's all good. That bridge is going to take a long ass time. They... Oh, their treasure is crashing quickly too. I have to keep a watch on that. Because if it crashes too quick, I'm going to have to take over that area. But it's going to be really hard to take over that area. I'll have to put ships and stuff in there and just lose a whole bunch of navy. I'm trying to keep that up. We can do it though. We have building those. Those are almost done. So that's good news. I'm just kind of attacking at random as our troops stream in still. Still a lot of troops. There's a lot of really damaged troops too, which kind of sucks. A lot of them are going to have to go into repair. Again, which sucks. Repair is expensive. Very, very expensive. two towns, see if I can't just kind of swing in the sideway here. Alright, let's just take everybody and just attack that capital. And hope Ukraine does not take a lot of stuff. A lot of lands. I think it take quite a chunk here and that would kind of suck. I know I've got to go through that base. Um, and then I've got to hit that capital. 
And that base after that, which is also fairly stocked up with artillery. Which, to be fair, Moldova's fairly stocked up too. You know, they have quite a bit of stuff. A lot of artillery, but Ukraine has more. Ukraine has definitely the most artillery that we've faced so far, by far. By a massive, massive margin. We got how to destroy like 30 units in about 2 seconds. Oh, they have like no money. They have a little bit of money. Didn't get anything from it though. How poor are you? The scale. There we go, and we get most of that land then. Good. Yeah, we're gonna get basically all of it. We might get this top chunk, yeah, they did. That's what I figured would have happened, but that's okay. I can uh, more than deal with that. More than deal with that. So yeah, our, basically our first fire is going to be, there's gonna be troops that go this way and I try to attack that city and stuff. That's just going to happen, I know that. But our first major hit is going to be that base. There's really not much between. In between. So I'm going to get my... What I have for an Air Force ready. Oh, 45. Getting up there. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. Fly it into there and try to see what we can do. That supply is getting in there pretty damn quickly. pretty well taken right over so let's push to there and declare war on Ukraine yeah it's gonna be a lot of bombs a lot of bombings holy crap look at all that explosions everywhere everybody's blowing up let's just send troops in and then send aerial troops in some troops are going to go sideways you know a couple are yeah, there's going to be a lot of explosions I'm going to lose quite a few units I imagine doing this this is not going to be too too friendly and yeah we took that base a lot of troops coming up here trying to hit us getting well destroyed of course because they're just artillery and they're fa fairly weak Oh, that's an ore mine. Take the ore mine. We just flooded into the country. Holy shit. Like, flooded in. Like, we took that. No mercy. Just nothing. Just nothing. Just obliterated it entirely. Let's take that city over. Since we're just surrounding it anyway, we will just invade it. Uh, I guess we just invaded that. Uh, take a few units to invade that, I suppose. Thankfully, Ukraine is fairly flat, so it's going to be a lot of very quick moving supply, that's for sure. But yeah, there's a lot of damage units. Yeah, I'm not surprised at all. Not surprised at all. It's going to be a very costly fight, I imagine. Come on, you can beat that fucking town up. Jesus. Closing on the capital now. Bam. Bam is slamming. The town's gonna fall here in a second. Send everything from there into the capital. I don't want to take them off that front line because I don't know what's going on there really. I know there's a lot of. BTRs, I don't know if they got destroyed or what, but yeah, they're going to try and stream into the capital. Yeah, they're going to try and put as much shit as possible into that capital city. Although it doesn't matter, we already took it. So, Ukraine's just kind of dividing borders at this point. I'm gonna take a chunk here just so I can get into Caucasus. Ah, oh, shit! Damn it, I can't get into the Northern Caucasus until I take Moscow. Fuck. That sucks. That sucks. B. 
big time. Oh, that's alright. We'll take over Lithuania, Estonia, St. Petersburg, move into uh, Moscow. I don't think I can get anything to Sweden without declaring war on them. I guess I could just declare war on them and just put a exemplary force once we get to that point on that bridge and see what they can do. Uh, we'll see. See what happens. See what happens when we get that far. Oh yeah, Estonia's going absolutely shit now against St. Petersburg by the looks of it. Which is interesting, to say the least, but we will. Should I move a shit ton of units around? Um, let's move these to Lithuania. <coughs> I knew I felt a sneeze coming on. Alright, well, I'm going to end it here, guys. Thank you very much for watching, and I will see you all next time. Peace.